Today we want to do a little experiment. I want to try out buffing out this car in four different ways. You can see here I've set up four different strips. I'll talk you through what they all mean. But we're going to use some different techniques. We're going to do some crazy stuff, some regular stuff, and some stuff by hand just to look at what the difference is. The surface here to the left, I'll be doing by hand, meaning I have this cheap scratch remover here, it costs about $3 for the tube, and a microfiber towel, and I'll be applying that. On this section here, we'll be using the rotary with a microfiber towel and the scratch remover. Now this towel doesn't actually have connections to go in here, but we'll just try that out, see if it holds up, because if you can do that, you can just swap out a lot of them. Then on this section, we'll use the slightly more extreme cutting pads that came with the orbital polish machine. And then on this side here, we'll be using McGuire's Mirror Glaze, which is a $60 per bottle product. This is really expensive stuff. And we'll be cutting that, of course, with the most extreme pad on here, just to see what kind of difference we get from a $60 product versus a $3 product. And this will be the most extreme side via cut, and then we just go to the left, and it gets less extreme. And then here, of course, will be by hand, and we'll just try and figure out what the differences are. Now, we don't want to be applying too much of this stuff. Let's just get a few squirts on here. There you go. And then I'll rub this in by hand. All right, let's do this. You want to apply that nice and evenly, even pressure. It's a bit of a workout, but hey, that's what's called buffing. All right, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to try this microfiber towel on that area there. It's not actually a fitting for the rotary. I'm just going to flatten it out, put the rotary on top, and it should actually attach a little bit. Now, if this works, the logic is you can get five of these for about 250 and one of those is about five bucks, right? So this is a lot cheaper and you can just really swap over these things nicely as you go over an entire car. You wash them out, you're good to go to the next time. Right, would save you a lot of money. I've never done this, so let's see how it goes. Now you can see that kind of works. I am making a little bit of a mess there on the window, but I actually don't care too much about that. I can wipe that off. But hey, for a big flat surface, that kind of worked. So that's very impressive. Uh, we'll compare the results to the actual stuff, see if that cuts any better. But I'm pretty impressed with this uh, cockamamie idea. All right, now we have the more aggressive orbital cutting disc. We'll put that on this side here and see how that looks. last thing I'm going to do 
is we want to use the Maguire stuff on here. Right, and there we are. You can probably see with the fitted pads it makes a little bit less of a mess like the cloth did, but for a big area you can still use it. All right, finished up. So I've given this a quick wipe down with the microfiber towel to remove all the excess. And let's remove the tapes and then see what we got. Now, I'll try to get in nice and close. So here we had the job done by hand. There's some paint chips and specks remaining. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Then, if we move across this tape line here, we go into this crazy micro fiber towel buffing thing. And that doesn't look too bad either. And actually, I think you can see this has cut slightly nicer. The orbital buffer is a 3100 RPM. Now going across, we use the uh, actual pad. Now, I'm kind of struggling to see a difference here and here. They both look pretty good. Maybe this one's just that tiny bit smoother. And then going across to the right side to the Meguiar's product where, yeah, you can actually see here the paint has really started popping a little bit now, right? And this is not even waxed yet, so I'm gonna wax this all off later. But you can see on the Maguire side, the paint is actually popping a lot more than with the cheaper scratch remover here. It's also still popping, but is that $60 worth? Not sure, I mean, it looks good. Would I spend $60 on that? Nah, probably not. But yeah, that's pretty good. But for all you guys at home who don't have an orbital buffer, Doing it by hand looks pretty good too. Check this out. So, I like it. Actually looking at it from this angle here, in my last video I showed you guys some paint swirls. They're all gone. And this is the side done with the Meguiar's. Now if I go along here, I don't really see any other paint swirls either. The light isn't great, but actually, all I can say, do it. Buff your car with a machine. It looks so good. I mean, it's a bit of a tough one, this. You know, if you have the money to spend, the Maguire stuff is better, it spreads better, it, it splashes less. The three bucks scratch remover, it works. It works too, though. So, can I really recommend one of these two products? Well, not really. I think $60 for a full bottle is really, really expensive, especially if you don't own a very expensive car. The scratch remover is good as well. So, guys, if you like this content, if you want me to check or test any other products, let me know and I'll see what I can do for you.